Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the I expect you to die to overview. So we're back from the vacation, but straight up to my chaotic life. I have like so many things piled up in just one moment that those few weeks up until the Facebook connect this year is gonna be absolutely nuts. Like I don't know how I'm gonna manage the work life with YouTube and just the social like everything is at once, but that kinda how it works normally. So I have to basically just go back to the original mindset and get back to the usual business. So as we all know now, the sequel is coming today and we actually managed to do the whole playthrough of the first one kinda surprisingly as well because in the past escape rooms were not my thing at all but this franchise really well introduces total newbies into the genre like me with its humor like tips what to do it's pretty much a perfect series to start with if you were not able to manage with those kind of games before already knowing the experience and what this gameplay is all about I'm confident that it's gonna run well because essentially it's gonna be pretty much the same thing except for just different levels and like a side story line because originally you aspire to stop the villainous schemes and just getting out from the shithole that you somehow ended up in. The footage pretty much shows the same graphic style as the first game which quite honestly for like quest to standards nowadays they could be a little bit better but we'll have to see in game. All in all there's not much to say because it is a very well polished experience that not many games manage to execute because it's a synergy between just basic controls, fun comedy full of puns and just wicketry and just easy to understand storyline while solving puzzles. It is one of of those that you have to pay really close attention to the surroundings and the details of the objects. Sometimes I found myself just searching for clues and whatever I had to do to get through the level but at the end of the day everything like made sense. It's like a smart game essentially. I'm pretty excited to jump into the sequel. I would never think before I would say something like that about the escape room genre but this game somehow is like very charmful and let's see from what mess we have to get out of now. We're back in the office <laughs> with the same graphics zone. <laughs> Maybe just slightly more detailed on the outside, but yeah. Agent, can you hear me? Mm-hmm. No, don't worry, the briefcase is safe. Do you remember what happened? Ah, uh, your memory might be a bit patchy from the attack. Well, take all the time you need. You're back at headquarters and you're perfectly safe. You'll find a tape on the desk in front of you. Load the tape into the projector console on your right. <laughs> we had an older projector and now we have a newer version. Now, I imagine you might recognize that bomb disposal device in front of you from your time as a cadet. In fact, it, given the wear and tear, it might be the same one. <laughs> well, I'm sure it still works. Now, let's see. How do I... Ah, yes, there it goes. Oh, just a bit further now. Right, disarm this bomb, if you would. Um, wait... Okay. Nothing complicated for now. Wonderful! Yes! Next, the machine should dispense a grenade for you. Ah, there it is. Let's use it to test out that telekinetic implant of yours. Oh yeah, the same exact Why don't controls. You pick it up and bring it closer. Now, try using your telekinesis to hover the grenade nearby. Good, your telekinesis is still working. <laughs> I hear that when those things malfunction, it's usually very messy. Now to dispose of that grenade. Use your telekinesis to place it inside the blast chamber. Shut the door and then pick up that remote detonator so you can explode the chamber's contents. I still remember how to play. I love that the original narrator is still here. Good, good. For your final test, you will need to dispose of three more explosives hidden around the examination room. Good luck. I left you a list, so you know what you're looking for. I suggest you hover the clipboard nearby, so you can refer to it as you conduct your search. Search the exam room, Agent. Find and dispose of every explosive. I love interactive tutorials, like that's such a good way to just introduce anyone really to a game. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'll make a special note regarding your technique. What a lovely hat. <laughs> Would a cupcake be a, a grenade? I mean, in this game. I'll dispose anyways. <laughs> I don't think there was a bomb in there, Agent. Your diligence has been duly noted. Hey, <laughs> how dare you? Well done. 
Here we go. Good work, Agent. You've passed all of the tests with flying colors. I've got just about everything I need. Uh. Don't worry, Agent. I've got everything under control. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Of course, the intro, iconic. From the spotlight, I can see you. Play your cards right, kill your stage right, this could be you. If all the wow. world's a stage, let's set it on fire. So you'll be the spy and I'll be the liar. From the background. Is billing makes a killing. They remind me <laughs> that beautiful mask you wear is all I desire. So you be the spy and I'll be the liar. Face to face to face again. And through the camera lens we ascend. Part. I'm the major star. Ha! The credits are more than just the air. Cause the truth is, I despise you. I will tear apart all these works of art that disguise you. I'm making the final cut. It's down to the wall. Phenomenal, as before. Earlier? Huh? I know this van isn't as luxurious as your old office, but we can't let Zoraxis know you survived your last mission. You've got a knack for putting a wrench in Dr. Zor's plans, so Zoraxis employees may not react kindly if they recognize you. On the bright side, now you've got a mini-fridge. As usual, <laughs> Zoraxis Corporation is up to something vile and nefarious, but we haven't been able to figure out what. The Prime Minister is certainly making himself a target. Keep an ear to the radio agent. You never know what they might let slip. Now, your briefing materials should be arriving any second. Ah, where's that blasted courier? Aha! Speak of the devil. Take the cartridge from the tray on your right and load it gently into the cartridge viewer in front of you. Since it's the same game all over, like, I'm not mad at all because I slowly grew to love this series. Operation Stage Fright. So this one, and we have six slots left. So I'm assuming there's gonna be now, seven missions total. Our intel indicates the Prime Minister is attending an event in Manhattan tonight. My instincts say Zoraxis will try something there. And my instincts are only wrong about half the time. <laughs> oh. And the event is hosted by Hollywood actor John Juniper. <laughs> oh, I'm such a fan. His performance in Marigolds of Forever was so... Uh, um, excuse me. Let's get you undercover so we can figure out what Zoraxis is up to. Marigolds of Forever. <laughs> I do wonder what's going to be the storyline here because the title says The Spy and the Liar. Still, we're in Zorax, you know, theme, but I wonder... Okay. My instincts were right. This place is crawling with Zoraxis operatives. Now you're all set up backstage. Maintain your cover as a stagehand until you can find and disable the threat. I'm 
manage to snag a ticket to the show, so I'll keep an eye on the Prime Minister. You know, for a man who could launch 50 nukes with the push of a button, he's much more grandfatherly than I expected. Well, find out what Zoraxis is up to. Set the stage, see pictures, cue light to turn on, race court and turn spotlight on. We have some labor to do now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened to Jerry? Is Set the stage, everyone. I want an impeccable performance from all of you. Oh, you up there, up in the catwalk. Be sure to follow the new instructions I left on your clipboard. That voice sounds familiar. Stay on your guard, Agent. Is it though? I don't remember. I'm not sure. Usually it's good to just like, you know, pull things out of this block with a key. Oh. Darts? For what? Q sheet. Oh my god. Don't mess with it. Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> It's not a good look for you, love. It's completely wrong for the shape of your face. Maybe if you... <clears throat> no, not the time. I don't hear you. Oh, damn. A code. Oh, we're almost ready to go. Keep an eye on your cue light. I'll turn it on when we're ready for curtain up. Ah. Draw attention to yourself, Agent. You're a stagehand, remember? <laughs> what? What on earth are you doing? You've ruined everything! Zaraxxus team, the time for subtlety has passed. Deploy the gas! Uh. Damn it! Well, I figure it out eventually. It's gonna take a little bit time, which I can't really sacrifice for an overview because it has to go like fast. But essentially, it is the same game as before, and I'm perfectly okay with this. I do wish the graphics would be a little bit better because it is still blocky, even though we're on Quest 2. So maybe the update will go eventually with some upgrades. But the essence of this game is still here. We'll do the whole playthrough, of course, and it's gonna be fun as well because everything is in place basically. <laughs>